So, you just de-ranked. You know, you're playing some Valo, you're playing some CSGO, some Overwatch, if people still play that. Some, I don't know, Smash Bros, you lose your global Smash power, whatever it is. And you de-ranked, and you're tilted, and you're heated, and you're blaming the Odin, you're blaming your teammates, you're blaming everyone. You know, it's not a good feeling to de-rank. And I'm here to tell you, yo bro, you gotta chill, you know, it's okay. Remember that ranks in any game, any competitive game, like the way I think of it is just, it's a difficulty slider. So, you know, if you win the game, it gets harder. If you lose the game, it gets easier. The literal gameplay, like the buttons you press are the exact same, whether you are, you know, fucking the lowest rank in the game or you're fucking immortal, you know? Unless you're trying to be the next Shroud or the next Ninja or the next hun Hungry Box or something. Like, you know, I, I assume you're playing this game for fun. Just play for fun and just, you know, chill. If you lose, you get to play against easier people. You know, if you de-rank, the game just gets easier. And then it's, it's easy just to climb back up. If you get boosted to a rank you don't deserve, then it's like writing your name on someone else's award. Like, you know yourself that you don't deserve that award. So, you know, deep down you'll know, like, I don't deserve this and like, I should probably be lower and like, I need to uh, learn to get closer to this actual rank. If you're at a balance where like you win half your matches and you lose half your matches then that's a good balance like that's probably where you want to be because that's when it'll be the most fun. If you get carried to a super high rank and then you're like really like worried that you're gonna de-rank but you just keep getting headshot every match then like it's just not gonna be any fun so like when I'm at that point I just accept the de-rank and just you know just be like yo I, I'll get back to it you know I'm not ready. I think something that really helps with like tilting is just think like a year from now am I gonna care about this loss or care about this D rank and you, you probably won't like let's be honest. Yeah there okay yeah so there is a problem with sometimes people will smurf on the enemy team and they're just like a fucking they're like way way higher ranked and it's like this is just like completely unfair or sometimes your teammates will just throw and they just DC and you're like what the fuck and it's like impossible to win and those games do happen but I find in my experience like usually those are like one out of every like seven to ten matches like they're pretty rare and when there is a smurf like that really does suck but I just like to see it as like an opportunity to test myself and be like try to push myself and really really like go hard and see how I can do against someone who's like like a like a plat in Valorant or just like you know yo and and if they're not smurfing another thing is just I think I just say like, oh man, that person's really good, or that person's like, oh, that, they're so fast. I'll even compliment them sometimes in the chat and just be like, oh wow, you're really fast, you're, you're really good, or like, oh wow, there's a really good headshot. And, um, you know, just think like, they're a person too, they're a player too, they worked hard, if they're good, they worked hard to get to where they are. If they are not smurfing, and they're just like way better than you, but they're the same rank, then like, I think like, they deserve to rank up. You know, if they, if they are smurfing, then they probably will rank up. See, so yeah, I remember guys, it's just a game, your rank is just a difficulty slider, and uh, you know, in the words of the squip. Be more chill.